Hi folks, and thank you for joining me for another episode of my easy, delicious meals at home. You can adjust the ingredients for two or three servings. You only need what you see on the screen for this recipe. There's a simple trick to tastier fluffier rice. It's a game changer. I fry it briefly first. Frying uncooked rice before cooking is a common technique that can enhance the dish's flavor, texture and appearance. Frying the rice in butter and a little oil helps to coat the grains and prevent them from sticking together, resulting in fluffy and separate rice. Start by warming a skillet. Put a skillet on a low heat to warm gently while you wash the rice. Wash the rice until the water is clear and drain well. Add the wet rice and steam off any remaining moisture on the rice. Use a spatula to spread the rice and keep it moving. It should just take a couple of minutes to dry it. Add a knob of butter and a little cooking oil to the rice. Lightly fry and saute the uncooked rice grains in the butter and a little oil in the skillet for about 10 minutes, stirring continuously until you see the butter and rice foaming. As the rice and butter mixture heats up in the skillet, you will notice that it begins to produce tiny bubbles of steam and fat. This is a sign that the rice is toasting and the butter is melting, adding flavor and texture to your dish. It would be best to stir the rice and butter occasionally, to prevent them from burning or sticking to the bottom of the pan. The foaming process should take about 5 minutes, depending on the heat level and the amount of rice and butter you use. Transfer the rice to the Yum Asia rice cooker bowl and add other ingredients, such as vegetable stock, frozen mixed vegetables and prawns. To enhance the flavor of the stock, you can add half a tablespoon of fish sauce, this will give the dish a savory and umami taste. You can use fish stock, but I prefer vegetable stock for this recipe because it has a milder and more balanced flavor. So, I'm using two cups of vegetable stock in the pot. At this point, add one cup of frozen mixed vegetables and as many frozen jumbo prawns as you desire. The prawns are quite large, so I recommend adding no more than five. Add half a teaspoon of black pepper, stir, and place the steamer tray on the pot. There's no need to rinse and devein these frozen prawns. You can season the prawns, if you wish, with salt, pepper, garlic, ginger, and lemon juice. Place the prawns in a single layer on the steaming tray that fits inside the rice cooker. They'll steam while the rice is cooking. Select the correct menu for the type of rice you're using. In my case, it's long grain rice, and then press start. This will automatically adjust the temperature and cooking time for your rice. When you hear three beeps, the Yum Asia rice cooker lets you know your rice is ready to serve. No more guessing, no more hassle, just delicious rice every time. Just take a look at these little beauties. They are cooked to perfection with just the right amount of steam. Always wear gloves or mitts when handling the rice cooker to avoid burns or injuries. The appliance can get very hot during and after cooking, so be careful not to touch it with bare hands. This looks absolutely lovely. The grains are separated, prawns are cooked, Time to serve. That looks absolutely lovely. This is where we get to try. The rice is light, it's fluffy, vegetables are cooked, prawn and a dip. This is my tomato, garlic and chilli sauce that I did for the, uh, um, for the prawns and spaghetti and it's, it goes so well with this, it's unbelievable. Prawns are cooked, 
are not robbery. They are they're lovely. <laughs> In fact, this is really nice. I'm so glad I fried the rice in butter and oil. It gives it such a well an uplifting taste. Hmm. This is my tea and I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy it. Catch you in the next video folks. Bye for now. <laughs>